Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022. Let's take a look at the charts. I'll start with this one. Uh, this descending two-third speed line that is projected off the August high and incorporates the October low into its calculation at 152.09 represents midterm resistance, able to contain buying through the rest of the year. And from here, we can fall back into the mid 120s by the end of January or sooner. The mid 120s being, bear with me here while I get my act together, 124.18 is this long term channel bottom. That is in reach. We don't have a sell signal at play. It's just that we're testing meaningful resistance at 152.09. We've come very close to it, uh, you know, over the last month or so, and below which the 142 handle is likely by the end of next week or sooner. And as we continue uh, through December and into January trade, by the end of January, 124.18 wouldn't surprise me. Now, working down today, uh, we can take a look still this 3 8 downside Fibonacci, which held nicely last week. That is 3 8 from the early November low against the more recent uh, mid-November high. 3 8 back, 146 and a quarter, able to contain session weakness. All the minor points inside here have been carefully chosen, well suited for aggressive day traders, but 146 and a quarter remains the sort of stick your neck out buy level for the day itself, not just on an intraday basis. From here, we could rally back to 152.09 within one to two days of testing 146 and a quarter but breaking 146 and a quarter is certainly possible given the still uh, it's yet to play out but selling pressures can build into december trade below 15209 and breaking 146 and a quarter would be in accordance with all that and if we did break or open below 146 and a quarter the 14220 to 14267 region a possible intraday objective the 14220 to 67 area high of the move low former short-term channel top, that zone able to contain selling uh, through the rest of the week on a two to three day basis. And we could fill this wedge out, as I've been saying now for the last week, for uh, several weeks, for a couple of weeks. Now, if we do close below 142.20, I think it's a long shot today, but if we did, that is sort of the first sign that yes, the mid 120s in reach that long term support area where we can bottom out on a long term basis. Not only do we have mid 120s there, but on that weekly chart, you can see a long term rising two thirds speed line projected off the March 2020 COVID low at 117.94. This area narrowing gradually and able to contain selling through Q1, possibly into later 23. Now let's take a look at the upside again. That if we do, I'm going to say close above 152.09. I don't see a push through 152.09 likely yielding 157.51 on an intraday basis, but it would be a settlement today above 152.09 that would signal 157.51 probably by Friday's close, and 157.51 is a meaningful resistance in its own right. So the way I've been framing this is selling pressures can build below 152.09 through the rest of the year and into January, the mid-120s in reach, and not until we close above 157.51 do I see just the opposite a bullish continuation buying pressures then playing out as we move into January the following possibly three to five weeks but right now I'll say by the end of January the 179.91 channel top then expected if we close above 157.51. So this zone between 152.09 and 157.51 is a bit of a no man's land with regard to longer term trend identification. If we do close above 152.09, that is a buy signal of sorts. It is actionable under other circumstances. I would anticipate 179.91 within several months of doing so, but really because of the classic nature of this horizontal structure at 157.51, I think um, it's, a, it's a safer bet to wait for a settlement above 157.51. Now, you could, if you have sort of a core position size, uh, uh, or your maximum position size, you could throw a third or half out there in terms of a long entry above 152.09, and then the other half, let's say, above 157.51, that's a possibility. Uh, you know, I'll leave that, all that finessing up to you entirely. Um, but um, I think that that pretty much rounds it out for Wednesday's Daily Triple Q Report. I will be back tomorrow with Friday's Daily Triple Q Report, and you have a great evening.